Hello honorable members of the clan. So guys, I am bothered just about something. Something that I needed to confirm from uh, uh, is a Captain Ntini's uh, testimony. Remember the time where he was basically catching himself in the web of his own lies? We learned that he's a scientist, a scientist that does not document his experiments or tests or whatever you want to call it. And he's unable to account for the eight bullets that he fired where he even says, and you're going to hear in the clip that you, I'm going to put right now, where he says, I fired eight bullets and out of the eight bullets, I picked the one with the clear marks. Jiggy Jiggy, he now when he realizes, mm, I think I messed up right there because why all the other seven are not as clear as the one that he picked up and is the best marked one or ones. So I was like, no. This case is solved, just like the DNA solved the case, just like uh, um, the tooth, uh, the the gold tooth, the hat, the tattoos, the dreads, as well as all the other stuff that already showed that the state has not proven this case beyond a reasonable doubt. They have no case at all against the accused. It's time to shut it down. So much so that you will see Judge Rata coming in to interject and basically testify uh, on behalf of the witness when Mr. Mnisi was like, uh-uh, wait a minute, that's supposed to come from the witness, not from the court. And then Judge Rata said, okay, okay. <laughs> it was quite funny because he realizes, oh my goodness, the witness is actually being cornered and he is caught on his own lies and the court wants to jump in and protect and then come up with its own interpretation of what Mr. Ndini was saying. I think that was beautiful. That to me was a case closed. This state did not prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt. So of course, Mr. Um, Nisi continued on this. Why didn't you pick a random bullet after you have fired eight shots and then mr Ntini comes back and says why well, i did not uh, write anything down i just did what i needed but he kind of like changed his statement a little bit if you listened properly which goes to show that if the other seven bullets did not have the best mark that means that entire evidence that he is there for to confirm is inconclusive basically it's telling the court that the my testing concluded that it is inconclusive not that it was fired from the same gun as he has come to say hey i am here to confirm mr mangana's findings that indeed it is the same bullet that came out of the same gun type of situation. So it's a mess, guys. It's a mess. So here goes the clip. Please enjoy because I did put some few little things that are interesting in there uh, for your attention as well. How many test bullets did you work on? There were eight, my lord. I, I, I see you reading from something there. What is what? it that you're reading from? This is my two and two, my lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, indeed, he said, if I had eight test bullets. And the reason for him to do that, he told this court, out of his own volition, that he had to do that because there was no consistent transfer of the mark from the tool into the exhibits. Do you get that? I'm listening, my lot. Yeah, I'm following. Thank you. Now, when you analyzed those test bullets, by the way, you said, what, what test bullets did you analyze? He gave us the classes which he he, he fired from this firearm as test bullets. Now, which bullets did you analyze? Test bullets did you analyze? It's 369TB3 to 369TB10. And if you know 369TB3, we'll figure out with 369TB10. Did those test bullets all have similar marks? 
a lot I've, I've, I've checked them all of them and then find that they, they, they do have uh, the, the similarities then I've, I've, I've selected the one with the best marks it was at this moment that he knew he dumb. now you then come and say from those eight marks, although those eight bullets, test bullets, although they had similar marks, then you went for those that had better marks, not so. That is correct, my lord. Why would these bullets, these test bullets, others have better marks and others not, when they were fired from the same firearm? My lord, that, that, the transfer of marks on the bullet it's not going to repeat itself exactly the same. They will have those, those similarities, but they will be the one that will have at least the best marks that are, are, are clearly visible, my lord. Now, when others have better marks and others do not have better marks, on what basis do we then conclude that they've got similar marks? My lord, you will see that those marks uh, are, are sufficient they, they, they've got, they are similar, they, and then they are sufficient for you to make that finding, my lord. But then say, if that is the case, you would not go for those that have got better marks, because they've got sufficient marks, then they, they, they are, the marks are similar. You just take any bullet there at random and do your test, not so. If your explanation is anything to go by. It's about to go down. If you can recall, Previously, I said after checking all, all, all the, the tests, I picked up one test. On the comparison microscope, you can put a test and an exhibit one. Then you, you, check, you check the test with that particular exhibit. Then you will find uh, the similarities. Then you, 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 will, you will rotate them up until you are satisfied. And then I picked up the second one just to, 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 to verify what I have seen on the other test. I cannot say with the exhibits I've, I've checked them all, but I've checked the tests against the tests to see that these tests, they've got the similarities. Then from there I randomly picked up. Is that just my lot because I did not write. I cannot say specifically it was this test. No, I, I, I don't get your explanation. It's, it's, it's your explanation is, is, is too clouded. My question is, if you are so sure that these bullets had similar marks, why did you have to go for those that you refer to as better marks? My lord, I had eight tests. I've checked the tests against each other. Then from, from, that, from after checking those tests, then I picked up one. I cannot specifically say which one. Then I put there in order to compare it with the exhibit. You're saying you checked, because I don't want to misunderstand you. You're saying you checked the test against themselves, then ultimately you pick one that you examined as against the the same bullet that is correct my lord so you therefore were being incorrect when you said out of the test you went for a better one uh, you, you went for the one with the better mark that was it's not what happened you, you are not incorrect you are you are correct what i'm saying is that i picked up the test from amongst the eight then I, 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 I used it to compare it with the exhibit bullet in order to, 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 to check if they do have a match. But what I'm, I, I've said also is that all the tests, they, they had the, 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 the similar marks. However, I cannot say all the marks were, 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 were all clearly the same. I don't know if I, I, I'm making sense, because nature does not repeat itself 100%. Some of you will find that other, other, other marks uh, 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 are clearly visible than the others.
remember I'm using a, a comparison microscope. So now if I see a certain test bullet with better marks than the other, then I, I will use that particular one. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. No, I think it's a question of language. <clears throat> Maybe the language expression could be deficient, and I'm not, I'm not saying that. Because there is a word also is identical, more pronounced. Have you heard of those words? That is correct, man. Yeah. You are using similar, 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 the same. One bullet may have the same, two bullets may be identical and they may have similar marks, but one may have more pronounced marks. That's how I understand the evidence. That is correct, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, uh, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, my lord, that I'm expecting that explanation to come from this witness, because I heard him very well yeah, fine. when he said, when he said, I compared to these eight bullets initially. I compared to these eight bullets and found them to be similar. But of the eight bullets, then I picked up the one with better marks. Yeah. Good. And then my question, follow up question was but if these bullets, had similar marks. Why did you have to go for a better one and not pick up a random bullet? That's when then he came up. He came up with the explanation that from the eight bullet that he had compared amongst themselves, he just picked up a bullet and tested it as against the same bullet. This time no longer the bullet with the better mark. Then the explanation just went from there on and on and on and on until then the court came up with marks being more pronounced and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this is not what this witness is saying, my lord. But nonetheless, I heard his answer. Thank you, sir. Get your answer. Thank you. Okay, if this is not case closed, then I don't know what it is because as a judge, this is the point where I will be like, okay, uh, I would advise the state to lodge a section 174. Like, guys, you did not prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt. Or, as the judge, take the powers invested in me by the Constitution and the Criminal Procedure Act to declare this trial a mistrial. Not even a mistrial, an acquittal of the five people that are accused of this matter. Case closed. This is exactly what this witness has come to say and it's and i believe mr minister towards the end where uh, i don't have that clip where he accuses the uh, mr Ntini that he is a hired gun he's only here to uh, advance the narrative of the state's case that this bullet was found at the kumalo house and it was fired and the, the matching uh, the marks are matching and therefore this bullet was fired from the same gun that belongs to accused number three it's a mess it's a mess but we are here for it and hopefully on monday we're going to have mr Gomez zulu feeling all well and ready to take on the current witness on the stand that is sergeant maria elizabeth pistorius who just also dropped a few bombshells now and there about the twala brother one of the twala brothers S or Silo Twala, uh, the Red Polo belonging to him. Now we want that to be expanded a little bit so that we get to understand what is happening. Who drove that car? Where did it go to? Where was it coming from? And uh, all the other, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, AVLs of other vehicles that belong to the family where they also summoned. Let's talk about the 205s of this particular uh, AV, um, AVL and also if they actually gotten Silo Twala Jr.'s cell phone number, that 205, is it there? Because we want to see what was his movement as well on the 26th of October, 2014. Yes, we got to get the cell phone records of Silo Twala Jr. So that we get to see where was he. He needs to account 
his whereabouts at the time when he was 24 years old and owning a red polo that now uh, Miss Pistorius is talking about. Again, Mr. Ngomezulu, please be better so that we can continue with this charade. It's becoming entertaining, unfortunately, at the expense of a tragedy that shouldn't have happened to begin with anyways guys that is all that i had for you please do not leave this video without liking sharing commenting and subscribing if you like this family do not forget to click the bell notification so that you get notified every time i upload a new video i will see you guys next time with something else that is on my mind about Ntini. There are a lot of things that Dini said that I think most of us did not read between the lines what he was saying. But anyways, let's see each other then. Goodbye.